What's going on folks? Sack from Uchi Shelf here. Hope you guys are doing good and reading lots of manga. Today we're going to get back into the swing of things, making videos, manga content, things of that nature, with a nice good old-fashioned manga haul for the months of April and May. I really wanted to get back into it by doing monthly manga hauls. Honestly, for April and May, didn't really buy that much, but also, understandably, the postal service has kind of been pretty slow, kind of all over the place. I mean, I've ordered manga that came literally next day, and then I ordered manga that took literally a month to get here, so... That's kind of the situation, that's just kind of, you know, how it is. But yeah, let's jump into what I've been buying, what I've been reading, and what you should definitely be buying and reading. Let's get into it. Right, so first up we got the complete volumes 1 through 3 of a little mini-series called Hikatsu by Yu Yagami, who also created Those Who Hunt Elves. This was a manga that I never got to complete because when I lost my old collection, I believe these went out of print, and I don't believe Gokami who published these is around anymore, although watch me be completely wrong about that. And from what I remember, it was kind of an action martial arts comedy about this dude in kind of a post-apocalyptic world, uh, who, this guy's job is just to punch uh, electronics like TVs and fridges and stuff and that just makes stuff work. Admittedly a little pissed off by this buy though so I got volumes 2 and 3 off of World of Books. They came in immaculate condition, the seller said it wasn't going to be here for 3 weeks, they came in literally 3 days. I got volume 1 off a third party seller from Amazon and it came in about a month. It was more expensive than I was willing to pay but I really honestly couldn't find it anywhere else. Uh, it said it was an ex-library book which is true. And, uh, it came completely fucking damaged, and apparently the seller said it wasn't. So, I, uh, I don't want to knock the seller, I'm not going to name and blame, because I bought other books from them, and it's usually been 99.9% .9 of the time fantastic. Just really not, not thrilled about that, so. Next up, we have Volume 3 of Jujutsu Kaisen by Gege Akutami. I am already caught up with Jujutsu Kaisen, I follow it every week, it's actually my favorite thing running in Shonen Jump right now. The anime trailer just dropped, it is the tightest, it's honestly going to be this year's Kimetsu no Yaiba, it's gonna, it's just gonna blow up. I, there's no other way you can hold me accountable to this, it's going to blow up, I guarantee it. Now, if you haven't heard of Jujutsu Kaisen or you haven't read it and you're kinda curious about it before the anime comes out, then you can check out a couple links in the description below, I've gone over each and every arc leading up to the current arc, ranking them in order of how good they are, and I also did a video based on my first impressions of the series. Series. So you kind of get a little gamut of how good this series is from my perspective and let me just you know what spoiler alert on all of that It's fantastic. Just go read it. You know, just go read it That's that's really the cliff notes version of that next up We got volumes 1 through 6 of world trigger by Daisuke Ashihara a series that I found for very cheap I got volumes 1 through 6 for a stupidly stupidly low price it felt like one of those things I've never been interested in this manga before but at that price point yeah, I kind of was. And actually, I'm only three volumes into it, and I'm actually really enjoying it. I saw someone on Twitter say it was basically Gantz Light, and I thought, that, that can't be true. And, uh, it's not. But it's still an enjoyable series. So the premise of World Trigger is that there's basically interdimensional aliens that come over to Earth and just really cause havoc for everybody who lives there. And there is a government agency called Border that uses their abilities to essentially keep these monsters at bay and keep the world at peace. Now the main character is one of these Border agents, he has to keep it kind of secret because he's one a low rank and two a high school student. And he comes in contact with a neighbor who becomes a good friend of his. And that's all I remember about this because it's been a few weeks since I actually read it. So, and you know, it's not groundbreaking or anything, but it's, it's, it's pretty fun and that's all you can honestly expect from entertainment. Next up is a manga you might've heard me talk about before. Ping Pong by Taiyo Matsumoto. If you guys want to know my thoughts on that, you probably already do. If you want more of an in-depth deep dive onto what I think of this series, you can check it out in the description below. When I created Utu Shelf years back, well before it was even a YouTube channel, my main goal was to try and rise through the ranks of people who review manga, if that's a thing, and have some sort of clout and prominence to be able to just tweet at like Viz Media or something and be like, hey, release Ping Pong, and then they just reply, Okay, I love that it's here all the same. And if a man hugging a book is wrong, I don't want to be right. And last but not least, a manga I've always wanted to own, another bargain bin deal I could not pass up, and that's the complete box set of Bakuman. I know Bakuman gets kind of a lot of flack here in the community for various reasons, many of which I don't even want to sit and talk about. I still think it's a fun manga, there's very few manga we have released here in the West that covers the topic of creating manga, and as someone who's kind of interested in manga from more than just a fan point of view, just learning about how it's made, how it's created, the process of going from concept to finished product of a manga, is just really interesting to me, and there's not very many manga out there, at least here in the West, that kind of cover that topic. And while Bakuman probably doesn't do it that well, 
it's still interesting enough to keep you hooked for 20 volumes. And when I had my old collection, I never got to finish it, so it's kind of a vindicating moment. Uh, it's really nice. I've been able to buy this, and then I'll get to put it on the shelf and never, ever touch it. And before we end this manga haul, because I only just remembered this as I was editing, is that I also got the entirety of the Humble Manga Bundle, the award-winning manga by Kodansha Comics. Now, you can get an incredibly stupid amount of manga for an even stupider amount of money, and I use stupid in the best possible sense. And in buying this manga, you're also supporting some pretty good causes, the ACLU and the Comic Books Legal Defense Fund. Now, I'm gonna run through this instead of trying to sell you on it. I wanna show you exactly what you can get for the next 17 days as of making this video. So if you pay one pound or more, or whatever that works out to be in your currency, you can get the first five volumes of Space Brothers, the first volume of Love Hina, and the first five volumes of Beck Mongolian Chop Squad. Pretty good deal right off the bat, but it gets better because if you pay six pound 50 or more, you can also unlock the first two volumes of Two Year Eternity, the first five volumes of Descending Stories, the first two volumes of Parasite, the second Love Hina Omnibus, and volumes 6 through 12 of Beck Mongolian Shop Squad. Not even all the way through. Already an incredible, you're getting so much manga for like under 10 pounds. Under $10 probably even, I don't remember what it works out to. But wait, there's more. Because for 12 pounds or more you can also unlock volumes 1 through 2 of Your Lion April, the third and fourth volume of Two Year Eternity, volume 6 through 15 of Space Brothers, Volume 3 and 4 of Parasite, Volume 6 through 10 of Descending Stories, The Third Love Hina Omnibus, hint hint guys, read Love Hina, and Volume 3 through 19 of Beck. But yeah, this is a really good humble, but there's more? If you pay £14.50 or more, you can also unlock the first four volumes of Princess Jellyfish, Volume 3 through 5 of Your Lion April, Volume 5 through 8 of Two Year Eternity, 6 through 15 of Space Brothers, 5 and 6 of Parasite, The Fourth. Love Hina Omnibus, and volumes 20 through 26 of Beck. Under 20 pounds, and you're getting all this digital manga. I shouldn't have to sell you on this. I'm still gonna, because there's more. If you pay 16 pounds or more, you also unlock volumes 5 through 9 of Princess Jellyfish, 6 through 11 of Your Lie in April, 9 to 11 of Two Year Eternity, 26 to 34 of Space Brothers, 7 and 8 of Parasite, the fifth Love Hina Omnibus and the remainder, volume 27 through 34 of Beck. And again, you are supporting fantastic charities such as the American Civil Liberties Union, the ACLU, and the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund. I will leave a link to this in the description below. If you can afford it, please, I implore you to get this absolute steal of a deal and support some fantastic charities. So there you have it, folks. My manga haul for April and May. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Hit me up on Twitter, at UchuShelf, at Instagram, also at UchuShelf, and on Discord. I'm not gonna tell you what that is, and if you can find it out, kudos to you. And before I let you go, I wanna let you all know of a read-along manga challenge kind of thing that I have cooking up. Details are forthcoming. You can check them out on Twitter at UchuShelf or here on the channel. I will make an announcement about it. The long and short of it is, you and I, are gonna be reading quite a lot of manga together through the rest of the year. And if that sounds like the complete and total opposite of fun, that is fun. I will understand. I won't take it personally. <laughs> Nobody wants to read manga with me. <laughs> and as always, don't forget to support Legal Manga. Go to www.wherecanireadmanga.com to get the lowdown on where you can read manga for free, through a subscription or per volume. Do it all in a way that supports the manga industry, everybody that works in it, and helps us get more manga like this. And until next time, folks, happy reading. <laughs> <laughs>